Okunoshima, also known as Rabbit Island, offers a delightful blend of adorable animals and rich history. Here's a guide to some must-do activities on this charming island. Number one, play with the rabbits. Before you board the ferry to Rabbit Island, stop by Tadano Umi Port to buy rabbit food. For just 100 yen per pack, you can get food to feed the rabbits. This small purchase lets you interact closely with the island's friendly rabbits. With around 1,000 rabbits living on the island, you'll have plenty of chances to see them, especially early in the morning or late in the evening during the summer. Once you arrive on the island, you can feed the rabbits by hand. It's a heartwarming sight to see them hop excitedly towards you. Remember to be gentle and avoid picking them up to keep them calm. If you run out of food or forget to buy it at the port, you can find more at nearby convenience stores like Lawson or Family Mart. Feeding and watching these cute creatures will be a highlight of your visit. Number two, explore World War II ruins. Step back in time by exploring the island's historical ruins. Okunoshima is home to several abandoned ivy-covered buildings from World War II, including power plant ruins and remnants of forts and ammunition stores from the Meiji period. Walking around these sites gives you a glimpse into Japan's industrial past and the island's strategic importance. History lovers and adventure seekers will find these sites fascinating. The mix of decaying buildings and overgrown nature creates a unique and hauntingly beautiful scene. Each structure tells a story about the island's role in national defense and its darker past in poison gas production. Exploring these ruins feels like piecing together a historical puzzle while enjoying the natural beauty of the island. Number three, visit the Poison Gas Museum. The Okunoshima Island Poison Gas Museum offers insight into the island's disturbing history during the war. The museum is open daily from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., with the last entry at 4 p.m., and costs about 100 yen to enter. Inside, you'll find many artifacts and information, most of which are translated into English. The museum explains how the island was used in chemical warfare, which contrasts starkly with its peaceful state today. While the museum is educational, some exhibits might be too intense for young children. It provides a deep understanding of the island's dark past and reminds visitors of the grave consequences of war. Number four, camp under the stars. For a memorable outdoor adventure, spend the night at the Okunoshima Camping Ground. With fewer visitors due to limited accessibility, this camping experience offers a peaceful escape with stunning starry nights. You can reach the island by ferry from Tadanumi. The serene campsite is perfect for stargazing and enjoying nature's tranquility. Whether you bring your own gear or rent from the campsite, a night under the stars on Rabbit Island is an unforgettable experience. Imagine lying under a blanket of stars, surrounded by the sounds of nature. It's a perfect way to connect with the natural world. By the way, check the links in the description for the ultimate guide on saving money while you travel, plus recommended tour operators in Okunoshima. Number five, bike around the island. Rent a bicycle from the island's only hotel, Kyukamura Okunoshima, to explore the island at your own pace. Cycling is a great way to see the natural landscapes, historic sites, and scenic coastal paths. The bike rental allows you to visit various attractions easily and enjoy the island's beauty up close. Biking around the island is an excellent way to experience everything it has to offer. You can stop whenever you want to take pictures, explore hidden spots, or just enjoy the view. It's a fun and flexible way to see the island. Number six, soak in hot springs. Kyukamura Okunoshima Hotel also features natural mineral hot springs. Open daily from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., these geothermal baths offer a rejuvenating experience. Soak in the healing waters while surrounded by the island's scenic beauty for a relaxing and therapeutic visit. The hot springs provide a perfect way to relax after a day of exploring. The warm, mineral-rich water helps to soothe muscles and rejuvenate the body. The serene setting adds to the relaxation making it a must-visit spot on the island. Number seven, visit the 19th Century Lighthouse. The 19th Century Okunoshima Lighthouse, located on the island's southern tip, is a must-see. The lighthouse serves as an important navigational aid, 
and offers stunning views of the Kurushima Strait. Multiple paved hiking trails lead to an observation point where you can enjoy breathtaking coastal vistas and encounter local wildlife. The lighthouse holds historical significance and offers some of the best panoramic views on the island. Walking to the lighthouse provides an opportunity to enjoy the island's natural beauty and see it from a different perspective. It's a peaceful and scenic spot that shouldn't be missed. Click here to watch this video.